Happy Thursday, everybody. I have just a quick video today to share some new bags with you that I've got in the shop. Um, www.evertote.com will take you directly there, and I hope maybe you'll see something that you like. I like to do, some sometimes I like to do a little video of the new bags that I have in the shop because I think it can give you a better idea of what they actually look like in real life because my photography skills aren't the greatest and so sometimes this allows me to share a better vantage point of the bags themselves. So I've got a mix today of fabrics and sizes of bag um, and uh, well, actually, I guess I can tell you about that in a minute. I'll get to that. So let's get started. First bag up is a sort of modern scissor print. And I've shared this fabric before back in December when I was doing Flossmas videos. And uh, these were the this was the fabric that I used for the bags that were giveaways for the Beagle Paws rescue uh, donation drawing that we had. I love these prints. There are three fa there are three colors of this print. There's a red, a blue, and sort of a mustard yellow. I have bags made from the blue and the red. They are listed in the shop. The mustard is coming. I'm thinking of pairing the mustard with a denim on the bottom. So having the blue and the red as standalone bags, and they both have notion pouches with them that match. So it's just a really simple, clean bag, a little bit modern, just just simple sometimes all you want is a simple project bag and I've paired it with a lovely white on white lining you can see there's just a really a really slight print there and a slight texture to it on the inside there so that's bag number one and that I believe I have listed as a medium I think I have both the blue and the red listed as a medium I can make that into a large set if you're interested and if you're interested in the mustard with the denim, just send me an email. Um, I believe you can message you can message me directly through Etsy, and it will get directly to me. Okay, next up is a fabric that I had before as a pre-order, and uh, I sold I sold it as cross stitch totes. I had just enough left to make some wedge totes. This is the chickadee print that I had back in December. So I have made the remainder of the fabric that I had. I've made six wedge tote sets. So this is it. Once these bags are gone, I have no more of this fabric left. So it is a, it's a medium wedge tote. This will fit two, two skeins. So a two skein shawl comfortably. Um, you can, I have stuffed three skeins in here before. It's a little tight, but you can do it. You just have to be careful because of course there's a zipper at the top and the last thing that you would ever want to have happen is have your yarn caught in your zipper. Uh, and it also fits an eight inch square Q-snap or hoop for those who like to stitch small projects, small cross stitch projects. It's a lovely little, I love it. It's so sweet, those little chickadees. And I've paired this with a red notion pouch, just to bring out that little pop of color with the chickadee. So I have six of those sets and that's it. Then they are gone. All right, next up, this is, uh, this is fabric, oh, look, I have in, in my stack, I had the notions pouch, the red set. So just in case, then you can see the color of the red just a little bit better. That's pretty close. That's pretty accurate to the actual color there. So that's the red print. Next up is a print from my personal stash. Um, you know, this print has been sitting around for a while. I love it. I didn't know what to do with it and I thought, you know, Instead of it just sitting around, let's turn it into some beautiful bags. So I only have four sets and that is it. I saved the last little scrap for myself to tuck into a quilt. And so I have four medium cross stitch sets and that's it. So it's again, a nice modern clean print. I've paired it with a black twill 
on the bottom. And then the lining for this one, I've used a sort of light teal that complements the teal, the inside teal of the, of the design there. This is a Joel Dewberry fabric, and the name on the, the name on the print was called Lightning Bugs. So I've, I've called this bag in the description, I've called it the Lightning Bugs bag, and that's why. So I love it. It does come with a matching notions pouch. So only four and then they're gone. That's it. I love that fabric. I love all the fabrics today. I, I wouldn't be making the bags if I didn't love the fabrics, right? So there you go. All right, next up, I have uh, my sample to show you today is the large flat bag. Um, I will also have this bag offered in the medium flat size. I have six of each and that's all I have because that's all the fabric that I had. So I am offering six of each and this is, this is super fun. This is like one of those old fashioned seed catalogs, you know, and, and I remember my mother, you know, she would get the seed catalog early, early, early in the year. And then she would spend some time pouring over it and choosing what seeds that she wanted to buy for her garden. My mother is a wonderful gardener. I am not. My husband jokes that plants come here to die. So anyways, I dream of being a good gardener, but you know, that would require weeding and things like that. However, I love the fabric. So are you ready? Ta-da! Isn't it amazing? I love it. There is this adorable little chicken that said, feed the egg maker. So it's got all kinds of little sayings all over it. Now, obviously the print, the fabric placement is gonna change depending on which bag you get. They're all gonna be a little bit different, but they should all have the pea pods and the tomatoes. So if I flip it over, you can see the back. This is, the, this is another panel and we've got some sweet peas here and there's the tomato again, and there's the sewing machine, and there's my little egg maker over there. So it does tend to repeat, I love this fish. So every time I look at this print, I see something new. And this comes with a matching notions pouch. So there you go. Again, it's a large scale print, so the placement of this will change depending on the bags. So the picture that you see on Etsy, your bag will probably look different unless this is the set that I send you. So I love it. Okay, so the lining for these bags, these are going to be different because I had some prints that all looked really good, but I didn't have enough of one fabric to do all 12 sets with the same lining. So I'm not posting a picture of the lining on the description of, of Etsy unless you really care because they're all lovely and I think you'll love what you get. But if you do care, and then, then let me know. Um, and, and if I still have it available, I'll do my best. But if not, I'm, I'm just gonna have to, to hope that you love what you get. I have polka dots. So some of the bags some of the bags will have a, a polka dot. And I am going to do my best to match the Notions pouch with the, the, the linings of the two. If I run out of the lining for the big bag and I don't have enough for the Notions pouch, it will be a cream, a cream color that will be on the inside of the smaller bag. Uh, the other two lining prints that I have, and I've got them on my holder here to show you. The first one is a like a, what is that called? Is it herringbone? Houndstooth, like a houndstooth print. So you can see that's gonna be on the inside. And the other one is this sort of very light, very small floral print there on the inside. So those are the linings that I have to work with. I think I have enough for all 12 bags and I also have a really lovely cream that has a similar 
print to this. It's a tone on tone, just like the scissor bag that I showed with the white on white. It's a cream on cream with a sort of very light floral print. And once I run out of the browns, that's that will be the 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 fabric that I use, which is also beautiful. But I'm trying to use what I have. And so sometimes when I'm making multiple sets, that means that I, I just have to use up what I have and I don't have the quantities that I need. But all of the outside, uh, the main print is you see what you get. Okay, so next up, I have a bit of a summery florally, not, it's not floral, sorry, that's coming up later. Uh, it's, it's a summery, springy stroll through the streets of Paris. And here it is. I love this print and I love this bag. I think the two fabrics together are so fun. So, and every time I look at the print, I see something different. There's a couple um, sharing a moment with the balloons on the side. There's a mum with her pram. Now there's of course the Eiffel Tower. Somewhere there's an artist painting. There he is, right there, painting the Eiffel Tower. And then the Louvre is here, there, and then, now, can somebody please tell me what this is? Because I showed my husband, he doesn't know what it is, I don't know what it is, and I kept meaning to Google famous Parisian landmarks and I didn't get around to it. So if anybody knows what this is, Ada, maybe you could let me know what that is. I would be curious, but I love this bag. It's so fresh and pretty. Okay, so I have, again, just like with the the um, seed catalog bags, I have 12 bags and that's it. I only have enough of this print to do 12 bags. I have six mediums and six large. The lining on this is the same white print that I used on the inside of the scissor bag. It's that really beautiful white on white tonal print with a very, very light texture to it. And all 12 of the main bags have a pale pink zip. The Notions pouch matches the accent on the bottom, and I've put a white zip on this one. So together, that's the set. Six mediums and six large. I have the photograph of the medium on the site. Okay, next up is a really fun print, but I tell you, this one, this one was not all that fun to cut, and you'll see why in a minute. But it, it's, it's so fun. This is such a fun bag. So I bought this fabric a while ago, and the bags that I have listed, the, the quantities that I have listed in the shop, that's all I have. I have no more. I haven't seen it again at the fabric shop where I originally found it. It's, it's gone. and. I, I love it. So I have enough to make five medium sets. Uh, I, I had enough to make, uh, there, are, there are seven more large sets listed, and then I'll show you a special treat after I show you the bag. So the one I'm showing you is the large set. I have it as a medium as well, but the, I'm showing, the example I'm showing right now is the large. And it's like, it's like a watercolors paint tray that's in use and you can if you look at it up close you can see the little splotches of color just like your paint tray when you were a kid and you would dip your paint brush in the glass of water and then you dip it in the paint tray and it's just colorful and fun and beautiful I love it I love it. I've paired it with a denim on the bottom so all of these bags with this print will have a denim bottom. Doesn't matter what size, medium or large. I love it. So can you see why this fabric may have given me a few stressful moments? Can you see how straight it is? And I, I, I you know, it, it's the way it's printed the direction that it's printed was the stretchy side, so the bias, and so it stretches easily. And so in order to sew it so that it's straight is very difficult. And 
I did my best. So this is the one that I've got to show you because it was pretty darn straight. And there's the other side there. So these bags, the top, you know, at the sides where it's a little stretchier here, those were a little tough. So I did my best. They are as straight as I could possibly get them. And I tell you, I may have needed a gin and tonic after cutting this. And I'm not done yet. So uh, this is the large and it comes with an adorable notions pouch that matches. So there you go. There you have it. Okay. With that print, I have made two very special large bags, large wedge totes. These are so fun. Now these bags, I'm going to show you the outside first because it looks pretty much like the one you just saw, except the bottom. The bottom looks a little bigger, but when you step back and you look at it as a whole, you have to imagine it's stuffed full of stuff. Then it doesn't, you know, the, the bottom sort of comes up a bit. You know what I mean, right? So the proportions are a little more even. I've put an O-ring on the side of this. I hemmed and hawed over putting a strap on it, but I thought, what would I want? What, how would I want this bag to look? And I thought it looked a little more modern with just putting the ring and no strap. Because when I grab my knitting bag, I usually just grab it by the side here and I carry it around the house. Um, so anyways, there are only two of these. I'm only making two, this is one. And the reason for that, I had a little fun with this one. So I'm gonna show you the inside I have to show you the inside because you're either going to love it or hate it. And I think I should be really upfront about it because really, if, if you are like me and you like sometimes things that are a little bit quirky or eccentric, then this will be right up your alley. I have had this fabric in my stash for a while and I have not known what to use it for because it was a little bit out there, but I loved it. So I bought some. And then when I was putting these bags together, the color of this fabric was absolutely perfect. So are you ready? Ta-da! <laughs> I think of these as my dill pickle rabbits. So it is just the absolute perfect color for the outside. Now, to be clear, the other bags do not have this lining. This lining is only for these two large bags. That's it. So that's why I'm showing it to you. The other linings that I have in the other bags, I have a couple of them have um, some light, lighter green uh, linings, but very simple, very, very simple. And they match beautifully the color, but they're not kind of this eccentric, eccentric. I mean eccentric in a good way because th this floats my boat and I love it. So I put it together. So I only have two of these. That's all I'm going to make with the dill pickle rabbits on the inside. So I hope you love it. Okay. So that's it for that. And that brings me to my very last bit of business for today. Valentine's day is coming up. Last year was the first year that I was in business that we had a Valentine's day. And I made an Evertote Valentine bag for 2018, and it was red and white. The set that I made last year was red and white. So I have made another set this year, and it is pink and green. And so this is the Evertote 2019 Valentine Collection. Very official. So, are you ready? It's soft and romantic, nostalgic. It's roses with just really delicate print. Pale pink. I love this green. This is a linen, linen-esque look to it. Can you, if you can see that print is just beautiful. I love it. I have made a green matching notions pouch. And this is coming with a needle minder. 
Now the needle minders, I have 11 sets total. So there are 11 Valentine sets, period, that's it. Then the, the rose fabric is now gone. Uh, so the needle minders that I made, and I've got all 11 made here, they all have a rose on them. So some of them have the larger rose, and then some of them have the, the smaller rosebud. So all of the magnets, I think I've done a pretty good job of taking a picture on the Etsy site of all of the different magnets. I love the little rosebuds, they're so pretty. So those magnets, so there are 11 sets. I have one more big bag. It's a Valentine big bag, but it is not complete yet. I will most likely be listing this bag uh, over the weekend. So if you see this video and you know that you want this bag, I'll show it to you. It's it's in progress here. So this is going to be the same size as the watercolors bag that I showed you, but this one's going to have a strap. So you can see I already have the strap made. So the strap will go on the side there. Uh, it has a it has a, a more creamy beige zip because I thought it matched the soft green perfectly. Uh, so that's the size of this and it will have a side strap. So if you know you love this bag and you want it before it's listed, just let me know. And if not, well, I'll list it before Monday and I'll share it on Monday's Floss Tube update. Uh, okay, I think that's it. Is that it? Can you believe it's almost Valentine's Day? It's time to be thinking about Valentine's Day already. Feels like it was just Thanksgiving. <laughs> I don't know where time is going, but it's so fun. Just having fun. All right, everything is listed in the shop. Thank you for watching. Thank you for supporting my shop, subscribing to the channel, and hanging out with me here. And that's it for me today. I will see you tomorrow for Friday Off the Grid. And happy stitching.